How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And it is uh, canned IPA time. Canned IPA I've actually been wanting to review for quite a while, and that is Kane's Head High India Pale Ale. Um, she was said to give this world for a couple reasons. One, I like Kane. Two, this can is sexy as fuck. And three, it's been a while since this actually has been available. Um, the gist is this. They did a canned run of this probably almost a year ago. Um, went okay, but I guess they had some issues with canning, um, whether it be in-house or mobile, I forget, but they kind of, you know, spent the time they, um, they, uh, well, I shouldn't say, I was going to say spent the time they should, they definitely spent the time they should have researching what they wanted to do, but they felt it didn't come off the way they wanted to do, so they took a little bit extra time, a whole season and a half, maybe two seasons to, uh, refine the process, and this summer we have cans. This was probably released a couple days ago, this past weekend. Five days ago, maybe. So, yeah. Let's dive into it and see what she's got. As far as what it says on the can itself, it says, Kane Brewing Company, Head High India Pale Ale, 6.6% alcohol by volume, Ocean County, New Jersey, and that be that. Now, first things first. That fucking can is bonkers sexy. Super minimalistic, flat, but everything about it is just fantastic. Kane's labeling, I've always been a fan of, but they've been very East Coast brewery-esque. This is kind of a departure from all of that, and it just brings a next level to the labeling. By far my favorite label that they've ever done, so put it that way. Let's crack into this sucker, see what she's got. Get a little cane action going for you, you know. So, give it a good pour here. Probably going to get a little too much head on that, but who gives a fuck? Um, do we have a date on this? No, we do not. Michael, where's the date, sucker? But... I mean, the can, cans aren't going to last long, so take that with a grain of salt. A um, little over a pinky finger, just off white head, really pillowy, creamy top to it. Um, pretty kind of rocky towards the edges, neurotic bubbles, and it's got a really nice piece to it for a single IPA, 6.6% alcohol, excuse me, by volume. You expect a little bit less haze or a little bit um, more of a robust for a base IPA. A lot of her IPAs kind of squeak in around 7 to 7.5%, so... Yeah, she looks like a nice hazy, not super hazy, I can see the logo through there, but nice hazy East Coast pseudo Northeastern kind of IPA goodness going on. So let's get a nose on this sucker if we can. Juicier than what I remember when I thought it would be. A lot of melon, a lot of peach. Peach out the fucking asshole. Peach, nectarine. A bit of like a kind of like a, a tropical fruity slash or star fruity slash melony kind of vibe going on in there. But it's all about the peaches, nectarines. Um, you know, you do get a little bit of citrus and you get a subtle kind of not overt dankness to it, but it's all about the peach in the sucker. But yeah, she smells like she has a nice sweet malt build to it. Honey esque vibe. I wanna go honey all the way, so it's a nice sweet malt base. Propping up that beautiful hot presence to where you're getting an ample amounts of melony kind of star fruitiness, but with that layer of peach kind of on top. Yeah, she smells good. She looks good. Let's see if she tastes good. Cheers. Yeah, it's funny because I had this beer. I got four cans. I drank one already. I drank it a couple of days ago. It was kind of sandwiched in within, within a, a bunch of beers. Not that it got lost in that sandwich, but it just, it didn't stand out, but at the same time, it wasn't meant to stand out in that. It was kind of like, I don't want to call it an afterthought beer, but it was just we were drinking and talking. We weren't really discussing beer. And I liked it, but I kind of walked away like, hmm, that was nice, but what do I think? Sitting with it alone gives it a little bit more thought. Pretty much what I got in the nose is there. I'm getting that peach. It's not as robust. Everything's a little bit kind of dialed down from what I got in the nose. I'm getting that peach, the star of the show. You're getting that melon kind of star fruit vibe. A little bit of citrus and ever so slightest bit of like very gentle dankness. It's not like an onion or raw onion. Not raw onion. Over ripened onion or garlic or weedy kind of thing. It's just a you know, very subtle dankness. But it's very nice, very sessionable. Very big for where it's at. Six point five, I don't know, six point six percent. Maybe it's where it should be, but um, it's nice. Um, is it my favorite cane beer I've ever had? No. Is it one of the tastier mid six ABV light beers I've had? Probably. Beautiful mouthfeel. 
get this like kind of subtle biscuity, more like a nutty kind of finish, malt wise on the finish. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more honey like, and that's pretty much it. Beautiful mouthfeel, really nice, gentle, rounded, robust hops, and uh, yeah, does not suck. I don't think so. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better base IPAs I've had as of late. Very, very, very close. If it's not in the top five, it's on the outside looking in, but it's probably close. I've had so many good ones. Um, the Northeast is busting with so, so many good um, base IPAs that this one is just, you know, it's it's there, but it's just mm, very close. But at the same time, I've had so many good ones. This one is just that good that it's in the mix. Let's put it that way. Um, what I buy again? Fuck yeah. Um, value and availability. Jersey, got to go to the brewery to get it. 12 bucks for a four pack of pounders. That does not fucking suck. And uh, let's say if you like what? We like this. Peaches. Fuzzy stone fruits. Let's put it that way. If you like those, if you like a little bit of tropical fruit in your mix, if you like a really nice balance, if you really like a really nice mouthfeel of relatively low ABV, you'll definitely like this sucker because it's made well. It delivers big, robust flavors that's ABV. And uh, the can's fucking bonkers cool. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like, subscribe and all that fun, fun stuff. If you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers and all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice base IPA right now and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.